perfect. All right, you guys. So let's get started. We don't need any props today. It's just you and the mat. All right. We're going to get started in a nice wide second position. Okay. We're going to take those feet a little bit wider than the hips. And I want you to really feel this spiraling forward of the inner thighs. Okay. And feel that wrapping around. Feel your glutes engage towards your tailbone. Beautiful. That navel starts to draw in and up as we grow tall through the crown of the head. We're gonna keep our hands on our hips to start with. Draw that navel in and up. Now, without changing our height, how much can you start to bend at the knees and crease at the hips, keeping our crown of head reaching up for the sky? Inhale, fully extend those legs. Exhale, it's a micro bend of the knees. Feel that pelvic floor and your TA, your transverse abdominis, start to turn on like a dimmer switch. They're starting to heat up slowly. Good, now we'll go into our full range of movement plie. So we'll start to lower down, melting our tailbone straight down towards the floor. Inhale as we zip it up, magnetizing inner and outer thighs. Exhale, feel those knees tracking in line with big toe, second toe. Be careful, glance down and check that they're not knocking in towards each other or going too wide over the pinky side of the foot. See if you can find a stronger connection from your first ray, big toe, second toe, to the outer heel. Beautiful, you guys. We're gonna take those arms behind our backs now, still fighting for that pelvic stability. We're gonna press those arms back behind us as we lower down, navel draws in and up, crown of head reaches up and back. Really thinking about activating the back line of the arms. Can you guys imagine that we're underwater and you're trying to send something away from you, behind you. It's like you're pressing up against a brick wall underwater with the backs of those arms. Beautiful, you guys. Hold your next plie nice and low. Hold it low. We're gonna bring those arms out to slightly in front of our shoulders. Hold. We're gonna peel our right heel up off the floor. Melt it down with intention. Peel the left heel up. Melt it down with intention. Beautiful, you guys. Now, we're gonna fight to keep that pelvis absolutely square as we work here. We're not gonna let the hips rock and roll. And we're gonna start to pick up the pace so that one heel is lifting as the other lowers. And every time you lower that heel into the floor, I want you to really imagine your bones going through the floor. Good, with intention every single time. Great, now that navel is still drawing in and up. Can you imagine crown of head being lifted up and away? Last three like this. Good, can you lower half an inch deeper into your plie? There it is. Good, peel both heels up. Hold it right here for me, hold. We're gonna lower down half an inch. Inhale to come back up half an inch. Exhale as we lower. Inhale to rise, good. Let's bring those arms up overhead and then turn the palms and imagine you're pressing foam down. Lift it up and then press it down. Shoulder blades are gliding down the back for four. Beautiful, you guys. Last three. We're gonna be coming down onto our mat for some wounded busk. Last one here. Hold it right here. Take those arms in line with shoulders. Hold it here, good. And we're gonna butterfly those outer thighs back behind us, tiny little pulse for four, good, and three. Last two, first the heels are gonna melt down and then we're gonna stand all the way up with control. Beautiful, you guys. Coming down into a plank position, hands are gonna come under the shoulders. Step those feet back one at a time. Give me a nice, beautiful long plank here with those feet about four inches apart in parallel. From here, we're gonna soften the knees Send the sitting bones back. Shoulders will come behind the wrists. Hold. Good. If you've got funky shoulders today, you may want to stay over the wrists for this whole one if you find that shoulders back here are aggressive. We're going to inhale to extend the left leg up and back behind us. Hold. Now from here, we're going to bring that left leg in by rounding the spine, bending the knee, drawing it towards our chest. Look between your feet. Inhale as we send it away. Keep that right knee low to the mat. 
exhale as you round it over. Draw your belly away from your thigh to bring that leg in towards you. And I want you to really think about activating a small flexion or rounding of the spine right from the middle of the mid back. Good, you guys. Exhale to round it over. Inhale to extend. Notice that that right leg doesn't really change. Beautiful. Good, you guys, last three. Good, and two. Now, it wouldn't be Saturday morning with Liza if we didn't add a hold. Next time your left leg goes long back behind you, hold, hold it here. Draw a tiny little circle from the thigh bone in the hip socket. I'm not so interested in what the foot can do. I'm interested in the top of the leg in the hip. Go ahead and reverse that circle. We're here for three. Anybody else feel that fire on the right side? Good, last one. And slowly bring that left leg down. Set those knees down. Beautiful, coming into a side jump. We're gonna come onto our right forearm. We're gonna lift the hips away from the mat. Okay, that right knee is slightly in front of us. And we're gonna extend that top leg long and away. Go ahead and point the toe, lifting that bottom rib up and away from your elbow. Option to take the top arm up to the sky. We're gonna rotate that top leg into turnout. On the exhale, flex the foot. Draw that thigh bone into the hip socket. Inhale, point the toes as you send it away. Exhale as you draw it in. And inhale, really lengthen. Feel that thigh bone reaching away from you. Good, it's really tempting to wanna hang out and let the rib collapse down towards your mat or the elbow. Imagine a sling picking you up. If staying here up off of the hip gets really aggressive, you always have the option to keep the hip down, but I want you to still fight for length on the side of that waistline. Beautiful, you guys, good. That top arm is optional. Pointing as we send the leg away, flexing, and I want that inner thigh wrapping forward as you bring it in. So we're not in parallel today. We've got this nice rotation. So imagine the fibers of the inner thighs wrapping all the way around, becoming the fibers of your glutes, connecting right to the tailbone. Feel that activation in those glutes. Next time you send the leg away, hold, hold it right here. Beautiful, draw those little circles again for me. Oh, those pesky circles. Good, you guys, keep that bottom rib lifted up and away. If your neck is getting a little tender, go ahead and look down at your right hand. Reverse that circle, take it the other direction. Good, we're gonna lay on our backs in three. Beautiful, you guys, last two. With control, bring that leg down and then gently place the hips down. Coming onto our back, we're gonna go into a double knee, double knee pull. Now, if you've ever done this in traditional Pilates, that's cool, we're gonna change it up a little bit. So, starting on our backs, bring your knees up into tabletop. Magnetize inner and outer thighs. We're gonna take an abdominal curl, melting our sternum down towards our sacrum. Hold, beautiful. Now we're gonna flex our feet a lot and we're gonna keep them flexed as we inhale, reach the right leg nice and long. Take your hands to your left thighs. Normally with a single knee pull, we would draw the knee towards us. I want you guys to press your knees into your hands and switch, press that knee into the hand. Good, you guys, do you feel that feedback that you're getting as you press the knee into the hands? Do you guys feel that feedback in your deep abdominals, your transverse abdominus? Beautiful, good. Now, every time that leg reaches away from you, I want you to imagine you're stepping into this and you're reaching your bones through the wall in front of you. Okay, so anybody can do this, but at Wunda, I want you guys really focusing on extending and reaching, reaching, reaching through the back line of the legs as you engage that low belly, pelvic floor, taking those hands into those knees. Beautiful, you guys. Three more on each side. Keep those feet flexed, keep reaching through the back line of the legs. Good, last one on each side. Finish on the left, and then meet me here. We're gonna take those hands up overhead as we extend both legs long. 
circle them down and around. You can give yourself a little hug. Inhale to extend both arms and legs. Circle it down and around. Good. Now only go as low as you can maintain a neutral spine. So if as your legs go low, you feel that low back peel up off of the mat, keep it higher. Keep those legs up overhead. Beautiful, two more just like this. And the next time you bring it all the way in, hug those knees, give it a little rock side to side, and then gently release. Beautiful, you guys, sitting all the way up. We're gonna take those legs gently out in front of us. We're gonna find the top of our sitting bones. We're gonna bring our arms up and forward. Inhale to grow tall. And I want you guys to really feel your thigh bones sinking down into your pelvis to start with. We're gonna inhale to hinge it back with a flat back, just two or three inches. Hold it right here. Now we're gonna allow the tailbone to melt underneath us as we come into a C curve. Hold. Good, we're not gonna go anywhere. Now, one or both legs are gonna come up into our teaser. Beautiful. Feel the weight of the legs sinking down into the thigh bones. From here, inhale to open those arms wide and exhale to bring them forward. Inhale, shoulder blades come together in the back to open. And as your arms go away from the center of your body, do you feel that challenge on the front of your abdominals? Yes, good. If you are in that single leg teaser, Keep focusing on that leg sinking into the pelvis. We're gonna switch in three. Beautiful, you guys, last two. Good, last one. If you're in that single, go ahead and take it to the other side. Beautiful, opening those arms. Can everyone imagine you're trying to sink back into your hammock a little more? Feel your tailbone melting under you towards the wall in front of you as you imagine your bottom three ribs are trying to traction up underneath your shoulder blades last one like this good if you can meet me here in your double leg teaser hold it here arms are going to come up and down for four beautiful last three we're going to go into that side jump on the other side beautiful last one with control Lower those legs down. Turn it over, coming onto our left forearm. Left knee on the ground, lift those hips up and away. We'll take that right arm up to the sky. Hold it right here. Extend that leg long away from you. And I want you to really imagine those inner thighs are supporting the leg from below. It's an exhale to bend, bringing it in. Inhale, point the toes as you send it away. Flex that foot and then really feel this thigh bone sink into the pelvis. Exhale to bring it in. Inhale to jump it away. Good, keeping that little lift underneath the bottom ribs and you always have the option to set the hips down, but be careful not to collapse that bottom waistline, yeah? So whatever option is right for you today. Beautiful, you guys. We're here for four more. Good, really feel those inner thighs shining forward and the fibers wrap around and become the fibers of your glutes. Good, last two. And the next time you extend that leg long, hold and draw that little tiny circle from the thigh bone in the hip socket. Good, you guys, can you give me a little more lift under that bottom rib? Can you think about really lengthening both sides of your waistline? Reverse that circle, take it the other direction. Beautiful, last three. We're gonna do our Wundabesque on the other side in two. And then lower it down, set those hips down. Hands come under our shoulders. We're gonna step it back into our very best plank. Hold it right here. Good, now softening the knees, reaching the sitting bones back, find even imprinting through all 10 fingers, hold those shoulders back here. Now we're gonna extend the right leg long back behind us, hold. On an exhale breath, we're gonna round the spine first and then draw the knee in towards the chest. Inhale as we send it back. If your left knee bends and extends slightly, cool. Okay, but I want you guys really to focus 
on this small flexion of the spine and the belly drawing away from the thigh to make room for that leg to come forward. Beautiful, good. And if that's aggressive, keep those shoulders in front of the wrist and still focus on a little flexion of the spine. Good, you guys, keep it up. This looks beautiful. Anytime you lose that connection to the upper body, I want you guys to find all 10 fingers really engaging into the ground. Good, you guys, last three. Good, last two. We're gonna add on those leg circles. Last one, hold it out. Hold that right leg out. Draw that tiny little circle for four and three. Last two, go ahead and reverse. Take it the other direction for three and two. And with control, bring it in. Beautiful, let's come up to standing. We're gonna take those feet wide. We're gonna start in that same plie that we started in, only we're gonna add our lunge plie repeat. So draw that navel in and up. We're gonna exhale to lower down into our first plie and hold, okay? Just double checking our shoulders over our hips. Hold it right here. As we come up, arms come up, we're gonna pivot over to the right, that back foot lifts. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, turn to the camera. Exhale as we lower. Inhale to come up, pivot to the left. Back heel lifts. Beautiful, and we're gonna take this at our own pace. If I were teaching this in the studio, I'd have to have you all moving together as one, right? So you don't crash into each other. But it's just you and the mat today. So you take this at whatever pace you can, exhaling every time you lower, inhaling every time you rise. Okay, and if you can stay connected and aligned, so those knees are always traveling in line with big toe, second toe, and that sternum is always staying right over that pubic bone, resisting the urge to lean forward, then you can start to pick up the pace by five or 10%. Feel that heart rate kicking in. Good, are we, I think we're good and warm now. Beautiful, you guys. The next time you turn to the right, we're gonna hold it there. So take your time getting there. Meet me facing the right side, right leg forward, hold. Double check, scissor your inner thigh so that the pelvis is nice and square, hold. Take those arms down and back behind you for that little chest expansion. We're gonna peel that front heel up, hold. Good, you guys. Now, we're gonna lower down as we imagine pressing through the back line of the arms. Inhale to rise. Exhale to lower, that navel is drawing in and up. We're here for four. Beautiful, you guys. Last three. I'm still sore from Marta's class yesterday. On the next one, hold it nice and low. Hold it here. Take that little bow forward. Feel how the weight shifts into the glutes. Hold. Beautiful, you guys. And give me a tiny little lift and lower for four and three. Last two. Heel melts down. Bring the upper body all the way up. Turn to face the, cam or the, the edge of your mat. Hold. Beautiful, you guys. Peel both heels up. Melt both heels down. We're here for just four. Beautiful. Last three. Can you feel your shoulder blades? Glide down towards your pelvis. Melt them down your back. Good. Last one here. Melt those heels all the way down. Stand all the way up. Turn to face the left. Lower down into that lunge. Send those arms down and back behind you. Hold. Peel that front heel up. Hold. Good, you guys. And now press the, through the back of the arms as we lower half an inch and lift. Checking that the pelvis is nice and square. Okay, scissoring those inner thighs, drawing that left thigh bone in and back. We're here for four. Good, and three. Last two, hold it right here. We're gonna take that little diagonal lean forward. Imagine your hips going up over your thigh bone. Hold, good, and then that little tiny lift and lower out of the left seat crease for four. And three, beautiful. Going to a Pilates push up in two. With control, heel melts down, stand all the way up. 
Beautiful, you guys. All right, come to the top of your mat, okay? If you know your Pilates push-up, go ahead and get started. Feet are gonna be right under our sitting bones, okay? We're gonna start by growing tall through the crown of the head. It's an inhale. Sweep those arms up, melt the shoulders down. Exhale, we're gonna start to round it forward. Feel that belly lifting as the spine goes up and over. We're gonna lead with the right. Right, left, right, left. Coming into our push-up. Now, I don't care about how deep your push-up is. I care about the quality of not dumping. Right hand leads us back. Left, right, left. Rolling the spine all the way up. Arms come up overhead. Do it again. This time it'll be the left hand leading. Okay, so as you get the rhythm of this, it's left, right, left, plank. Lower into that push-up. Inhale to rise. Left, right, left, right, rolling it all the way back up, okay? So now that we've got the hang of that, really focus on the in integrity of that push-up rather than how deep you can go. Can you feel your armpits kind of hug around your rib basket? And imagine your elbows melting back towards your hips, rolling that spine back up from the bottom to the top, and then imagining that belly is going up and over a little steel fence, a little electric fence, and you don't want your belly to get a shock as you fold it down. Good. We're gonna do one more on each side. Beautiful, you guys. Rounding it over, imagine going up and over that little electric fence. Right, left, right, left, push up. Right hand leads us back. Good. The next time you lead with the left, you're gonna take it all the way out and hold your plank. Left, right, left, right. Hold it here, hold it right here. Beautiful, you guys. Can you soften your elbows a lot? Hold. Can you find a stronger connection through all four corners of your hands? Hold. Can you reach your heels further away from crown of head? Hold. We're here for four. Good, and three. Armpits are hugging around the rib basket for two. Beautiful, ready? Let's lead with the left hand, walk it back. And slowly roll it all the way back up. Whew. Nice work. All right, you guys, we're gonna go into some lateral arcs, really focusing on strength on the sideline of the body. So I want you guys to come down. Your left, we're gonna, I'm on my left hip. My left leg is going to extend and my right leg is gonna come in front of my left thigh bone in turnout. And I'm gonna bring my right, or sorry, left hand kind of under my shoulder, a little closer to my hips, okay? Now from here, flex the left foot, really engage the outer line of the foot into the floor. It's going to be an inhale to lift the hips up. Reach the arm up and over. Exhale, slowly take yourself back down to the floor. Inhale to pick it up. Okay, so really imagining as you flex that left foot, picture your left inner thigh really drawing up and through the pelvic floor. Good, engage your right foot down. Now, if you wanna add on, as you take it up and over, that top leg is gonna stack and we're gonna add that little lift and then you can bring it back in. Good, you guys, this looks beautiful. Think about really reaching up and over, last three. Good, you guys. Last two. And the next time you come up, either both legs straight or not, up to you, hold. Take that top arm to the sky. Now, the left shoulder is gonna wrap around the ribs. Then the right shoulder is gonna continue the right arm underneath. Bring it back up. Okay, so left shoulder wraps around, right shoulder blade glides around the ribs, right shoulder blade unwinds, then the left. Beautiful, you guys. Two more, just like this. Good. This should make you feel really refreshed and ready for your day. 
when we're done. Last one here, hold it up and then slowly place that hip back down onto the floor. Coming onto our knees, we're gonna come into some upper body jumps. So we're gonna take our forearms down if that's accessible to you. If not, it can just be your hands. If you need to grab a pillow, grab the pillow off the back of the couch and you can place your forearms on there, okay? Sitting bones reach down and away, belly draws away from our thighs. On an inhale, we're gonna come all the way up to a high kneeling. Exhale, feel your sitting bones reach back for your heels. Notice that the upper body is not pushing us up off the floor. In fact, if I had to do this without my hands touching the floor, I absolutely could, okay? I want you to think about the back line of those legs, hamstrings and glutes and lats are really helping to open up the front of the hips. Beautiful, you guys. That's what the glutes do. They are hip extenders. Beautiful. So really think about the melting forward as you draw your navel up and in. Good, we're gonna start to add a rib rotation. So as we come up to the top, we're gonna reach it long in opposite directions, alternate to the other side. Beautiful, you guys. Good. Notice at the top if you're flaring your ribs forward. If so, I want you to imagine really melting your heart center down a little bit. Good, keep your hips shining forward as you rotate the upper body. Beautiful, you guys. Nice long lines here. Gorgeous. Last four. Good, I'm just giving you a break before we do those side planks on the other side. You're welcome. Good. Very nice, you guys, really reaching it away. One more in each direction. The next time you finish on the left, that will be your last one. Beautiful, bring it all the way down and come all the way up, gorgeous. All right, you guys, so coming down onto our right hip, right leg extends away, flexing through the heel and engaging the outer line of the foot down. Left foot comes in front of us, okay? And that right hand comes in maybe a little closer. Play around with the position here to see what works for you. Good, really engaging that bottom leg. We're gonna inhale to lift it up and over. And then we're gonna melt it down with control. Okay, so play around with how far or close your hand and your feet are on that mat. Inhale, really imagine the underside of our body is really engaged to lift us up and away. Like there's a little hammock underneath us and there, somebody's using it to pick us up off the floor, yeah? If you wanna add on so that that top leg extends and we add that arc, be my guest. The key here is can you lower down just as gracefully as you lift it up without flopping down to the floor? Gorgeous, two more like this and then we're gonna add those rib rotations. Beautiful, you guys. Hold this next one up, hold it here. Top arm up to the sky. Good, I like my front foot forward. We're gonna wrap it around and then pick it back up again. So imagine right shoulder blade wraps around the ribs, then the left shoulder blade continues so that that arm can reach under. Right shoulder blade unwinds us, then the left arm continues up to the sky. Keep working here. You guys, it looks so beautiful. I just see arms floating up and down. It looks great. Gorgeous, you guys. If you're still, if you still got both legs extended, you are a serious badass on a Saturday morning. And I have mucho respect for you. Two more just like this. Beautiful, you guys. Last one. Bring it all the way up to the sky. Hold and then control it all the way down. Beautiful, you guys, coming onto our backs for one last thing. We're gonna come into a little crisscross. So one leg at a time is gonna float up into our tabletop, really magnetize inner and outer thighs. Hands are gonna come behind the head, and rather than pulling on your neck to lift, 
I want you to imagine inhaling to hover just your hair up off the floor. And then on your exhale, melt your heart down to peel the upper body up. Hold. Beautiful. In, let's flex our heels a lot for me to start with. On the inhale, the right leg is going to reach away. Hold. Point the toes. Hold. And we're going to rotate so that the right ribs reach across to the left outer thigh. Unwind the upper body, then bring the foot in. Flex. Good. Inhale, reach your left leg away. Rotate towards the right. Unwind, then bring the leg in. Good. So let those things be slightly separate movements. Reach, twist, unwind, draw in. Okay, and focus on the integrity of each part of it. If you can stay connected to it, you can start to pick up the pace just a little bit. Beautiful. So instead of shortening the front of the body and trying to get your elbow closer to your knee, notice I asked you to reach your bottom rib across towards the outer hip. As you rotate to the left, can you feel that left shoulder blade kind of wrap back and around you? So imagine we're twisting you and stretching you in two different directions as you do this. Beautiful, you guys. Last three here. Good. Notice I even I forgot to add the pointing and the flexing. Good. It's not about elbow to knee and it's not about pulling on the neck. Beautiful, you guys. Next time you go to the left, that's your last one. Next time to the right, that's your last one. Unwind, bring it to center, hold it here. Heels together, toes apart. Last thing. Inhale to extend those legs long. Exhale, froggy bend, bring those feet in towards you. Inhale, point, reach it away. Exhale, heels stay super glued together. Be careful that as you bring the knees in that you're not letting those knees go super wide. I want you to bring them right in line with big toe, second toe. You're gonna feel more connection to that pelvic floor, really flexing your feet. As you bring it in, feel your heels reaching away as they drag closer, closer to your sitting bones. Good, last two. Last one. And with control, bring it all the way in. Hug those knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Take a little happy baby here. Soles of the feet up to the sky. Knees wide. Give yourself a little rock back and forth. Good, you guys, last thing here. Just give the spine a little stretch. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees. Okay, so make your way to hands and knees. And from here, we're gonna inhale, reach our heart center forward as we shine our tail at the top of the wall behind us. Exhale as you round it over, lifting that heart up through the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, be careful not to dump your ribs or your belly to the floor for this extension, but rather imagining your heart being drawn forward and that sensation of the spine staying lifted as it arcs. Good, find a stronger connection under the knuckles of your pointer and middle fingers in the palm of your hand. Soften those elbows a little bit for me. Good, you guys, and then from here, take those knees wide, press it back. Arms can either come forward as you melt your forehead down to the ground, or if you like to take those hands back behind you, cross them over, place them on your sacrum. Take a few deep breaths here. Good, I just want you guys to take a moment of gratitude to be able to move your body in this way, to be able to nourish it in this way. Beautiful, you guys. And with that, I will see you next time.